Hi guys, hope this finds you well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Esan Ahmed here. And today I'm going to be discussing various questions that I've had. Um, and I'm going to be deep diving into one in particular. Um, centered around my passion, what I like, which is real estate and remote workers. So let's get into it. So the question is, Aside from property management, what else can remote workers be used for within property agency? Great question. Excellent question. Um, so one of the one of the other ways that I personally or we as a company use virtual assistants and remote workers is for lead generation. So lead generation is core to any business especially the growth of a business. Without lead generation and incoming leads, fresh leads, and more, important, and more importantly, the servicing of leads that are already within your database, within your business, you are not growing. And if all you are relying on is inbound leads, as we all know, the cost of leads within, within real estate, especially for a small business, is horrendous. It's, it's very, very high. It's probably one of the most expensive lead types out there. So how we use virtual assistants and remote workers is to go through our existing database. So if you've been in the industry for some time, I'm sure you've accumulated a database of a good size. It might be 5,000, 10,000. I know agents out there have got 50,000 plus tenant database. And you know, alongside tenants, you will inevitably have landlords, you'll inevitably have buyers, and you, you'll inevitably have sellers. All of these people and all that data is pointless if it's not followed up with, if it's not contacted, and you know, if there's no touch points within that relationship. Now, as a business owner, it's impossible for you to do everything. It's impossible for you, especially if you're, man if you're, if you're managing properties, selling properties, renting properties, whatever, you can't do everything. You need a breakdown. And even if you're to hire somebody to generate new business for you, pay somebody three, four K a month, you know, you're seldom going to get people who are going to do a hundred cold, cold calls in a day or to reach out to your landlord database. So this is where we've deployed remote workers. So they will reach out to our existing database, especially for landlords and vendors. They will make contact. They will ask and follow a very, very simple pitch, which is not even a pitch. It's literally opening the phone call, um, introducing themselves, and then asking if they have anything for sale or for rent. If the answer to that is no, it's followed up with a com compliment, which is thank you very much. No problem. I'll send across an email to you. If the answer is yes, they'll attain a little bit of information. So basic qualifying information, when the property is available, how many bedrooms, and when is a good time to call you back. They'll line up a call with a senior, and that senior will then attempt to sort of take it to you. Either way, whether it's a no or a yes, we've made contact. And we've established some sort of progress to move forward and instigate business with a lead that does not know us and has definitely forgotten about us. So that's a key, key thing for me. Uh, lead generation is a way for us to, to, to really deploy remote workers. It's worked great so far. And I would highly recommend that if you're not doing this already, um, to get in touch with me. Um, that's what I can help you with. Within our business, we have and we deploy remote workers. We vouch for it highly. And it's something that I would love to, to, to send across your way also. So if you're not currently doing lead sourcing, reach out to me. Um, let's have a chat and let's see how we can help you generate leads within your ex existing database whilst protecting your data, of course, and uh, hopefully help you improve your business. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this has been beneficial and uh, see you in the next one.